What's up everyone, I'm Philip, and I'm Kevin, and welcome to a brand new series called Ask CoinSquare, where we answer all the digital currency and blockchain questions that you are too embarrassed to ask. So I'm thinking we should start off with by far the most common question we get here at CoinSquare. How do I invest in Bitcoin if I don't have $15,000? All right, this one's pretty straightforward. So just like a dollar can be split into 100 pennies, a Bitcoin can be split into a number of smaller units as well. And these are called Satoshis. With Bitcoin, there's a hundred million Satoshis for every Bitcoin. So not only do you not have to buy a full Bitcoin, you don't have to buy half a Bitcoin, you don't even have to buy a tenth of a Bitcoin, you can buy a millionth of a Bitcoin, or no Bitcoin at all. But this raises another interesting point. It's called unit bias. And this is something I see happening all the time. So when investors start looking into digital currencies, they get intimidated by the price of Bitcoin because it's so high that if an investor has only $5,000 to spend, they're not gonna wanna buy a fraction of a Bitcoin. Instead, they'll go for a coin with a smaller per coin value because they, they're tricked into thinking that they're getting more value by getting more coins. There's no relationship at all between the value of a single coin and the value of that coin's network. So you wanna be looking at the price of the coin multiplied by how many coins will ever be in existence. So with Bitcoin, 21 million coins, and multiply that by the current price, that is a good proxy for how much the Bitcoin network is worth. So don't let a low price per coin persuade you into buying just because you believe you're gonna get more value with more coins. That's not at all how it works. There's no relationship between the price of a coin and the value of the network. Always do your own research. Or you can subscribe to this channel. We'll do some of that research for you. That's all for today. If you want your question featured on the next episode, leave it in a comment down below and we will see you next time.